I've gone and built myself an X-Beam and in this video I'll show you a few of the components that I've put together and there's the uh, six spreader arms there with the P-clips uh, P uh, attached it's taken me around two months to put this together doing little bits here and there and trying to decide how I'm going to there's the P-clips I'm going to build it and you know but a uh, big credit's got to go out to the website of uh, Kilo4 Kilo India Oscar there's been a massive help that site has giving me ideas and then I've looked, they give you ideas and I've kind of changed things to how you know make it easier for me to to put together but um, I haven't actually built it yet this today will be the first day so I'll put it all together uh, there's the the poles, fishing poles, lakeside from Decathlon here in the UK. For anybody who isn't, they're ten pound each. They were, and you need six all together. So. Yeah, I've had them turned on the ends there, on the end of the poles, taking the end section out, and put all in and put little rings on. That's what it built up. I couldn't put one of the spreaders on there because of the swings and the way the swing in the garden it's getting in the way. There are my, uh, my cords for um, attaching to the centre post to the ends of the, the spreader arms. I had to make sure all the same length. Just out of the paracord. And that's it built up now. There we go, there's the, the cords on there. Give me the tension. There's a swing in the way there. A view from the bedroom window. The X beam's up, it's not very high off the ground. But I'll just do a quick sweep of the band. Um one. I mean, look at that, I'm pretty impressed with that. Let's go up to. I've only got three elements on. Uh, where are we? 28. Let's try on there. Bit right up there, like. Still below two, though. Let's try on there. So I'm going to call today. Yeah, thanks for watching, and there will be a part two, so keep an eye out for that one.